welcome back to Wind Down with Lee. Y'all know how we do it. We get straight to it. And today, I have finally met the threshold to be a part of the YouTube AdSense program. <laughs> and that is because of you guys. You have made this possible for me and I really, really, really appreciate it. And I thank you. I will be doing a 1K subscriber giveaway. So lay around for the details on that. I just want to share my feelings real quick. I, I, you know, I just, I'm... I am still speechless, you know? I thought this day would come eventually one day. I just, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I didn't know how I would feel. I still don't know how I'm feeling. So I'm trying to actually be in the moment. Like my friend said the other day, we are human beings, but a lot of times we do. So I'm just trying to be right now and kind of see how this actually feels to meet a milestone, you know, meet a goal. Like you guys have goals too, right? So when you meet your goal, how do you feel? Like, how does that resonate with you guys? But anywho, that's not what this video is about. It's not about that, but I just want to share that little tidbit with my people, you know, before we got up into this. Today, I'm gonna be trying to get all of this hair, y'all, up under a braided wig. Now, wig is okay, but a braided wig is a little bit different because it has to lay flat. So my problem is, I don't know if I can get all of this hair to lay fat, fat, flat up under this sensational Fulani cornrow wig, okay? So bear with me. We're gonna do some small braids and we're gonna see where it goes. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is the wig right here, right? And you see how it's parted down the middle and then everything else kind of goes back into the side. Because the bulk of my hair can lay up under the wig right here, that's how I'm gonna actually part my hair off and braid it down so as you see here i got kind of my five inch part because i did my hand like this that's why they don't don't come for me that's how i'm judging myself down the middle these will go down and then the back will go down as well so we'll get this wig on and we'll get out the door y'all because we got someone to be today in case y'all didn't know What y'all think? Y'all think we gonna make it? Y'all think we gonna be flat enough? Y'all saw the back. I mean, it feels flat. <sighs> Let's keep going. Okay, so I started braiding this like the normal way, how I braid down. Then I realized it. I did the second one a different way, which I'm about to show y'all. It was less bulky. What I've been doing is just taking it and kind of, kind of, Trying to underbraid it, per se, yeah. I hope you guys can see this. But just like as if I'm plaiting and I'm just taking one piece as I go and go down. But I'm doing it underhanded. I can tell that it lays flatter. Let me just say that. I, I saw the difference when I, baby, y'all probably couldn't see none of that. I saw the difference when I did the first one and when I did the second one. This one was flatter. I made it a little bit thinner. I might have to go back and make this just a tad bit more thinner for the front. Y'all, I hope that this, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try the wig on before I lay it. Before I change this and make it thinner, I might make it into two, or make it like here and then one under. That way, it will just lay a little bit more flatter. I thought about sewing these down like this, just in a little bundle to the back. It's giving flat, right? It's giving flat. It's giving slick down. Alright y'all, so this is it. I've done I'm done braiding, right? And I hope, I hope that it's gonna lay down flat enough for me, but we'll see. I am gonna like tweak these back, pin it. I'm either gonna pin it or I'm gonna sew it down. One or the other. But I wanna show y'all the wig. Let's get to the wig. This is the wig. Okay. 
She is a 13 by five part and space Swiss lace wig. This is the inside. Yes, she has a, a scrap, okay? We do have some combs in this bad boy. Let me take this off the comb. There's a comb in the back. And then we have some combs on the side and the front. Take that off. Yeah, she brand spanking new. The back is made like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is it, y'all. This is the wig. What y'all think so far? Would y'all rock something like, like her? Some braids, some scalpy looking thing. Cha, so I braided it down, but it wasn't flat enough for me. So I did go ahead and sew this side down. Looks a little better, right? We gonna work it out. Cause that's what, that's what we do. We make it work. Oh yeah. I'll just pull it back like so where I didn't want it to show. And then I am going to. See, see how it's laying flatter? But I think it's flat enough now, honey. Whoa, whoa. Chicken wine, chicken wine, chicken wine, chicken wine. Nah, I'm gonna tell you, I will have someone else cutting this string out of my head for me. So do not try this at home if you do not have somebody to cut this up out your head because I ain't losing no hair. And more than likely it's gonna be my sister. Sorry, sis. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> All right. I think, ooh, girl, you looking like your chicken, chicken dinner. See that? So that side piece I was trying. That side piece. Y'all can't tell I'm going to the blues concert tonight. Like I'm so excited about that. I think we all good, y'all. I think we, I think we all good. Okay, so this is it. Let me turn around so y'all can see how it looks. I hope that my camera works. Don't talk about my braids, don't come for me. My braids may not be the best, but it will get the job done, okay, sister? I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I put a little foundation that I normally use, this Lancome. I just put that on here. I'm gonna use this same one, this Lancome Compact with my little brush. I'm gonna put it on the inside of the wig too. And when y'all see the mannequin head come out, y'all should already know what time it is. So I'm brushing back this baby hair. Baby, this this some huge baby hair. I cut it off so that I can customize it some more once I actually get the wig on my head. I'll make sure it looks natural. And then maybe I can make this kind of blend in versus just cutting it straight across because who wants like a straight hairline like nobody grows a hairline like that right so far if you are liking what's going on y'all hit that like button and let me know you know what i'm saying leave me a comment and be like if y'all have done something different so far or maybe y'all not feeling how i uh sold <laughs> this hair down i don't know but let me know how y'all feel about it so far but yeah so far so good let's go let's rock I'm not the best at baby hairs, but this is the best that I can do for right now. All right, party people, this is it. This is the look, like it came out so good. I didn't think that my hair was gonna get flat enough for it to be under this wig, but honey, look at that. Hello, 
somebody. Let me turn around to the back so you can see. I hope y'all can see it. Oh. Child, what you say in the words of my cousin? Baby, look, we together. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me show y'all it up real quick. So we was to do kind of like this half up, half down situation. Hello. Let me show you the back. My husband just got home. Honey, I'm here. That's the half up, half down situation. And I, if I was to put it all the way up, hold on. Let me, let me, let me do it. Y'all. Look how cute it is. <laughs> so I put it up and put on this little red and black headband thing. I'm a jig a bob just to see what we can do with this. Like what y'all thinking? Let me turn around so y'all see the back. <laughs> I might need a little touch up back there. But I put the headband on because I just felt like I needed to cover up the lace or whatever the little, you know, the little wig situation in the back. But I feel like if I put on a bigger, a wider headband, it would be okay. It would get the job done. We cooking with corn grease. I mean, from here, everything looks good. My mirror, everything looks good. I'm so proud of myself. But anywho, this is it y'all. Final review of this wig. Let me know your thoughts. This is the number two. Again, I got it on sale at my wig store for 64 bucks. And I'm getting ready to go to the Blues Fest. Ah, ah. Ah, and for all of those that stayed around to the very, very end, my 1K giveaway, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below in this video. You know, drop maybe, let me see, let y'all know y'all got this far. Uh, drop, we gonna drop the word Fulani down in the comments, okay? So if y'all here, y'all stay to the end for my 1K giveaway, drop the word Fulani down in the comments, letting me know that y'all, you know, here for the wig. Okay, this wig situation we got going on. And uh, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.